Welcome, on this video we're doing a product review for the Throbot XT by Recon Robotics. So if you want to see how this easy to deploy tactile robot system is saving lives and helping armed forces, then please stay tuned. Hey, throw me a Throbot! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com. Now on this video, we're looking at the Recon Robotics Throbot XT. Recon Robotics is the world leader in tactile micro robot and personal sensor systems. Worldwide, nearly 4,300 of the company's robots have been deployed by the US military and international friendly forces, federal, state and local law enforcement agencies, bomb squads and fire and rescue teams. Each day they use the company's mobile Recon Scout and Throbot devices to protect their personnel, minimise collateral damage and gain immediate reconnaissance with dangerous and hostile environments. The company was formed in 2006 to commercialise robotics technology development at the University of Minnesota Distribution Robotics Laboratory under the funding of the Search Advanced Research Project Agency, that's DARPA, and the National Science Foundation, among others. Throbot XT is pound for pound the most versatile robot, stealth and easy to deploy tactile robot system in the world. Inherently water and dust resistant, the Throbot XT is a personal sensor system for tactile operations. It weighs just 1.2 pounds, that's 540 grams, and can be thrown up to 120 feet, that's 36 meters. The sensor is also exceptionally quiet, operating at just 22 decimals, and is equipped with infrared optical systems that activate automatically when the ambient light is low, enabling the operators to see in complete darkness. Once deployed, the micro robot can be directed by the operator to quietly move through a structure and transmit video and audio to the handheld Operator Control Unit 2, that's OCU2. These stealth-like capabilities can be utilised to locate armed subjects, confirm the presence of hostages or innocent civilians, listen in on conversations and reveal the layout of rooms. Information that can save lives and increase the success of high-risk operations. The robot may be purchased with or without audio listening capabilities or upgrade to listening enabled at a later date. The Throbot XT may also be specified at any of the three predetermined transmitted frequencies, enabling operators to use up to three robots in the same environment at the same time. To run through the performance of the XT, Operates at just 22 decimals at a distance of 20 feet. The indoor range of the robot is tested to be 100 feet, that's 30 meters. The outdoor range is tested to be 300 feet, that's 91 meters. The speed is tested to be 1.5 FPS, that's 0.46 MPS. The drop shock resistance is tested to be 30 feet, that's 9 meters. The throw shock resistance is tested to be 120 feet, that's 36 meters. Is water resistant to incidental immersion in 1 foot 30 centimetres water for up to 5 minutes. Mechanical specifications. The length of the robot is 8.2 inches, that's 20.9 centimetres. The width from wheel to wheel is 7.6 inches, that's 19.3 centimetres. The height of the robot is 4.5 inches, that's 11.4 centimetres. And the weight of the robot is 1.2 pounds, that's 0.54 kilograms. The runtime for the robot on flat terrain is tested to be 60 minutes, but it varies on uneven terrain. The throwbot can withstand repeated 9 meter 30 feet of drops onto a concrete floors. It even has survived a drop from a UAV. Greek and Robotics throwable robots are used by law enforcement agencies in 49 US states. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the Throbot XT by Recon Robotics. Now if you like this product review and want to see even more robot reviews then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the Throbot XT. 
If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.